was the spring that my brother Kevin would surprise our whole family. My name is Sean O'Connor, and this is the countryside where we live, and the ruins of an old castle near our farm in the southwest of Ireland. This is a very old country, full of history and legends, and I live here with my parents, my brother Kevin, and my sister Mary. We live on a dairy farm. There are many other farms like ours because the Irish climate is good for this type of farming. I like to help with the farm work. Every evening, I bring the cows in for milking. My mother is always busy with the housework. She works hard. Although my sister Mary is still in school, she usually helps my mother with the housework. This is my father and my brother, Kevin, before their quarrel. They look after the farm and are herd of fine dairy cows. Kevin has left school. He works on the farm now, as Daddy expects him to do, because he's the eldest son. But he's not really happy here on the farm. Every morning, Mary and I go to school in the nearby town. We ride there in the school bus. Sean, come on, the bus is here. My school is an elementary school, or as we call it, a national school. Next year, when I'm 12, I'll go to a secondary or high school, as Mary does. Today we are having a social studies lesson. For this lesson, we are taught in Gaelic, or Irish, the old language of Ireland. We are learning about our flag and about Ireland's army helping the United Nations keep the peace in different parts of the world. The national name to have oyster. We also study English and history and geography and mathematics. Every Sunday, we go to church. Our church is in the same town where Mary and I go to school and where my mother goes shopping and my father gets his supplies for the farm. After church, I like to go with Kevin and watch him play hurling. Kevin and I are good pals and he tells me everything. Hurling is a very old Irish game. It's the most popular sport in many parts of Ireland. I think Kevin is very good at it. When we get home, we'll have a fine Sunday meal ready for us. If it stays this way, this Sunday, my father is telling us about the work that has to be done on the farm this coming summer. Now, when you come back from your holiday in Dublin, Kevin, there's one thing I can assure you. We're all going to be very busy. We're always busy. I'm tired of working on the farm. I'd like to get away. And where would you go, Kevin? I'd get a job in the city. You're young yet, Kevin, to be thinking of leaving home. You're the eldest... I'm son. really surprised at Kevin. He has never talked back to Daddy like this before. After Sunday dinner, Kevin and I often go fishing. But today, Kevin isn't interested in fishing. This isn't like Kevin at all. School is finally over, and I'm ready for the long summer vacation. What are you packing, Mammy? Kevin is going to take you with him to Dublin. 
You're going to stay with your uncle for a holiday. Oh, great! Come on now. Help me pack your things. When am I going? On Saturday. Are we going by train? Yes. And when you get there, Kevin will show you all the places you want to see. He might even take you to a hurling match in Croke Park. What do you think of that now? Are we staying long, Mammy? Yes, you'll be staying a week. And your aunt and uncle will be looking after you. I'll have to go all around Dublin, won't I? You will, yes. But I want you to promise me one thing now. Won't you be a good boy while you're in I Dublin? I will. Yeah, do everything. Dublin is Ireland's capital city. It's on the east coast. Then yeah. On our way there, we passed through the rich farming country of the Midlands. There. This one I showed you. That's right. My aunt and uncle are meeting us at the station. My uncle is Daddy's brother. He grew up on our farm and sometimes comes to visit us. Now he's the manager of an electric power plant. Kevin has been coming to Dublin ever since he was my age, and he'll show me the city. This is my first visit. I've always wanted to come to Dublin. We're going to stay at my uncle's house in the suburbs. Dublin is a very old city. It was founded by the Vikings in the 9th century. It has always been the principal city of Ireland, and today, three quarters of a million people live here. The President of Ireland lives in Dublin, and it's here that our Parliament has met since we became independent from Britain over 50 years ago. From my lessons at school, I know that Dublin is a centre of business and industry and that it's the major port from which Irish goods are exported to Britain, our nearest neighbour, and to Europe, America and the rest of the world. I like to be among the crowds in the centre of the city. But my aunt spends such a lot of time looking in shop windows. I prefer to go with her to the local shopping centre, where I can help her carry the groceries. Soon, it's almost time to go home to the farm. But Kevin still has to take me to the big hurling game. I've never seen so many people. game, Kevin tells me something I can hardly believe. I've written to Daddy and he says he has a job in a factory here in Dublin when and that he isn't back, going back to the farm. He has already written to tell Daddy. I can't do farm work all the time any longer. I want to stay at home, but you know I'm not able to the way things are. I have to do it now while I'm here in Dublin. So, I go home by myself. Now, we're not together anymore. It's a busy time on the farm, and Daddy misses having Kevin to help him. But 
I miss Kevin more than anybody. I remember the times we went fishing together and cycling and playing hurling. I think my father is lonely too without Kevin. Kevin has been gone for a few weeks now. One evening, when my father and I are in the town loading supplies, the bus from Shannon comes in. Shannon is the big airport not far from here. It's an industrial area too. People from the local towns and villages work there. Hello, Francis. I see you're coming from Shannon these days. My no, father sees a friend yeah. who has just got a job at one of the factories at Shannon. No, but yeah, I know you tell me there wouldn't be any trouble for a fellow to get a job there. Oh, not a bit, no. There's plenty of work, plenty of employment there. My father's talk with his friend seems to have given him an idea. I think I know what it is. He's phoning Dublin to ask Kevin if he would like a job in a factory at Shannon. Kevin is delighted. Now he will be able to live at home with us again. I'm glad Kevin is back. Every morning he takes the bus to Shannon. His new job is with an American plant that makes computer parts. Most of these parts are exported all over the world. Kevin has to learn many new skills and he must go to a special training class. So the way to reset the shift register is to put set to a zero. When you put set to a zero. Soon, Kevin is earning good money. He is able to buy a new motorbike and he rides to and from the plant every day. Kevin is glad that he can live at home. He can go fishing with me on weekends and play hurling with his local team. I'm glad too, because he has promised to take me for a ride on his new motorbike. Daddy, can I go to Shannon with Kevin on Sunday? On his bike? Yes, Daddy. Well, I suppose you can, Sean. But make sure you wear a helmet now. <laughs> This is my first ride on Kevin's bike. Kevin is going to show me the airport at Shannon and the plant where he works. Shannon is the first airport in Europe for airplanes coming across the Atlantic. A new town and an industrial estate have been built beside the airport. Kevin says that once there was only a swamp plant here. This is the plant where Kevin works. But I'm more interested in the big chicks. I recognize the Irish planes, and there are others from Europe and America. Our teacher tells us that there are many people of Irish descent in the United States and Canada. Some of my friends have relatives there. glad Kevin is home again. He says he likes his new job at the factory and that he's going to study more about computers. But I like our farm. When I grow up, I think I'm going to be a farmer. <laughs> <laughs>